Hey y'all, I'm your girl, Mrs. Toy Banks, the world's most satisfied wife, and I'm here to help you solve your marriage problem. And today I want to share a real good one with you. Listen, this trap right here is something that many wives and husbands are often falling into. And I hope that you listen up and make sure you don't fall victim to this trap. I'm going to use an example from the Holy Bible going all the way back to Adam and Eve because all the mess started right there. Eve decided to take of the forbidden fruit. I know that you guys are familiar with this story. She decided to, to, to go across the boundaries and take of the forbidden fruit. And once she ate of it, she then decided, hey, I don't want to be alone in this failure. I want my husband to enjoy this, right? So she goes and offer it to her husband. Now, it could have ended right there. Adam could have said to her, girl, I'm not getting in that bed with you. You messed up. You need to repent and go to the father. I'm not doing that. But instead, Adam decided to take of the fruit. And as a result, they both were cursed. They both failed because of one person's failure. As a matter of fact, you might be doing that right now. You say, you say, hey, Toy, how are you doing that right now? Well, some of you may have a husband that's rude and you're normally not rude, but because your husband is rude, now you have become rude. Maybe you have a husband that is, or a wife that is vengeful and now you have become vengeful. I've even seen where spouses have left God because their spouse has left God. Oh, absolutely not. If you leave God, baby, you're going to be on your own. Listen, I need you to understand that your spouse's failures do not have to be yours. Do not make that mistake. You know, the Bible says um, two is better than one because when the other one is down, you can lift the other one up. But if you get down there with them, both of you are down. So here's the deal. If your spouse is failing in an area, here's what you can do. You can encourage them. You can inspire them. You can pray for them and you can lift them up out of that failure. But what you don't want to do is get down in that failure with them. I know you know what I'm talking about. And if this is you, I pray that you stop, drop and roll out of that right now. Listen, marriage is an amazing institution and it, it can be quite beautiful, but that is truly up to us. And one of the ways that you can make this, this marriage so amazing is by first, not making your spouse's failure your own. And two, if they fail, that instead of falling with them, that you uplift them and pull them up through encouragement. So I hope this video inspired you today. Listen, do me a favor, go to my YouTube page, uh, uh, Solving Your Marriage Problems, and subscribe so that you can get the notifications to um, my videos that I send out on a regular basis. Uh, I hope you join me because listen, it is my desire that marriages strive. It is my desire that all of us become satisfied wives and satisfied husbands and ultimately have a satisfied marriage for God. I'm your girl, Mrs. Toy Banks, the world's most satisfied wife, helping you solve your marriage problems. God bless.